Hello everyone. I am going to talk about multi-sensor prognostics using unsupervised health index based on LSTM encoder decoder. So, uh, so we'll uh, this in this work we focus on remaining useful life estimation using multi-sensor time series data. So uh, many approaches for remaining useful life estimation uh, make some assumption about how a system degrades or a fault evolves. One of the most commonly used assumption is the exponential degradation assumption, which uh, so under that assumption the health index for a, a instance u at time t is given by something uh, like this, which is one at the beginning or when the in, uh, instance is in a nominal state and it goes to zero as the system degrades. Uh, an unsupervised health index is desirable when uh, degradation may not follow a pattern or the mathematical modeling may not be possible for uh, complex systems. So our contribution is a LSTM encoder decoder based unsupervised approach for estimating the health index and then using it for remaining useful life estimation. So a typical pipeline for doing RUL estimation would uh, use some offline multi-sensor time series data and uh, do some dimensionality reduction to reduce the redundancy in the sensor readings, uh, for example using PCA and use the derived time series uh, and then learn a mapping, uh, uh, for example, a linear mapping from the uh, sensor values to the health index. And this health index uh, comes from some assumptions or like the exponential assumption I mentioned. So the HT is the target health index. So our contribution is that we uh, obtain this target health index for learning the regression model using LSTM encoder decoder. Uh, just a quick overview of uh, RNN encoder decoder. So recurrent neural networks uh, have been successfully used for sequence learning and temporal modeling tasks, for example, in handwriting recognition, speech recognition, sentiment analysis. Uh, RNN encoder decoder scheme is uh, being used for sequence to sequence learning tasks, for example, machine translation, where you are giving, given a sentence or a sequence of words in one language and you have to translate uh, it into another sequence in, uh, into a sequence in another language. And similarly, natural language, parsing, image captioning, all these use uh, have been uh, uh, RNN encoded decoder has been successfully used for all these. And recently, uh, multi-sensor anomaly detection has been done using RNN encoded decoder, where the idea is that uh, you learn a reconstruction model using nominal data. So the encoder decoder uh, tries to capture the distribution of the normal data. And when it sees some uh, uh, new type of data or uh, anomalous data, it, the reconstruction error for that is high. So uh, encoder decoder is uh, basically a two-step uh, uh, neural network where there is an encoder network which maps a multivariate input sequence to a fixed dimensional vector representation. And then the decoder network uses this vector representation to produce a target sequence. Uh, so this is just a brief overview of LSTM unit, just that it's a special type of recurrent unit which has uh, a property uh, which is useful, that it is useful for learning long-term temporal dependencies. I'll skip the details here. So, uh, so this is how we have used this LSTM encoder decoder as a reconstruction model. So we train only on the normal time series. So the uh, final state of the encoder is used to initialize the decoder and then the decoder uh, using a linear mapping to reconstruct the sequence back. And uh, the goal is to minimize the <coughs> excuse me, reconstruction error on the normal data. 
and uh, then uh, we map the reconstruction error to health index by uh, normalizing using a min max normalization so uh, uh, just to come back again to this that we have proposed a target health index using the LSTM encoder decoder. Uh, then for uh, RUL estimation, once we have the uh, health index curves, so we, for any test instance, the health index curve is compared against the uh, repository of offline health index curves. And uh, uh, wherever we find the best match, the remaining life of the train instance after that is used as an estimate of the uh, remaining useful life of the test instance. And we use a weighted average of uh, the RUL estimates from each train instance where the weight is uh, proportional to the uh, similarity of a test instance health index curve to a train instance health index curve. Uh, for experiments, we have experimented on three uh, data sets. The first uh, two are, in first two, for first two data sets, we are looking at RUL estimation problem. And for the third data set, we uh, show that the reconstruction error has some correlation to the cost of maintenance in a real world industry project. So uh, for the target health index curve, we compare a linear health, we uh, have four models. The first one assumes a linearly decreasing health index. The second one assumes an exponential health index. And the third one takes the normalized reconstruction error as uh, the target health index for learning the regression model. And we also uh, evaluated a squared reconstruction, normalized squared reconstruction error based model. So we have uh, uh, evaluated our approach on several metrics, including timeliness, accuracy, MA, MSC, mean and MAP, that is the mean absolute percentage error. So these are the results on the uh, uh, first data set, that is the C uh, maps double fan engine data set. So in the first uh, chart on the top side, you can see that the reconstruction error increases as the engine approaches the uh, end of life. On the right hand side, you can see that uh, when the health index is high, when the uh, health index at the last time instance or the current time index is high, uh, then at that time the uh, absolute error in the uh, remaining useful life estimation is high because uh, it's difficult when the machine is in very good health, it's difficult to estimate the remaining useful life. But uh, as the health index uh, decreases, it goes close to zero, we have a very good, uh, very low absolute error. And also the uh, standard deviation in all the RUL estimates, which of from all the offline health index uh, uh, curves of the train instances that we use, uh, the standard deviation is also low. So the confidence in the remaining useful life estimate is also high. So the uh, top, uh, the bottom histograms show the. Uh, number of engines versus the error. So the we can see that <clears throat> most of the errors lie in the range minus 10 to 10 uh, for these approaches. And the last one is the best approach, which is the squared uh, normalized reconstruction error based model. And these are, so we compared uh, the, uh, the LSTM encoder decoder based reconstruction error against the exponential. So the we can see that LR exponential, which is a linear regression with exponential target, uh, and LRED2, which is the squared uh, reconstruction error based model. We can see that the squared exponential, uh, so, sorry, the squared reconstruction error model does as well or uh, better in some of the metrics uh, compared to the exponential assumption model. And we also compare against a uh, 
baseline, the Arvel Clipper model, which uh, has reported the best timeliness score, that is S, in the literature, and we are doing well compared to that model as well. And uh, on the second data set that we have worked on is the milling machine uh, data set. So here again we see that as the life of an instance passes, the reconstruction error goes high. And uh, uh, similarly, the, for most of the error values lie very close to zero in the interval minus four to minus six for, so there are two types of materials in the data set. For the first material, it lies between minus four to six, and for the, for the second, it lies between minus three to one. And then these are again the actual uh, values, actual uh, REL estimates uh, compared against, uh, the predicted REL estimates compared against the actual ones. And uh, here again, we can see that uh, the encoder-decoder based model uh, does better compared to the exponential assumption based model. So this is the third data set. Uh, so here we have uh, data from uh, a pulverizer mill and uh, we have, uh, so the plot shows the uh, reconstruction error over the last two months before three of the maintenances of the mill. Uh, the blue uh, plot shows that this, uh, the period before this maintenance was, has a very low reconstruction error compared to the red and the green, green plots. And if we look at the last column in the table that shows the cost of maintenance, and we can see that the blue plot that is uh, maintenance M1 has the uh, lowest cost and also in the plot we can see that the reconstruction error is also low for that. And uh, we also observed that uh, whenever the error, the reconstruction error was higher than a threshold, say when, so the reconstruction error E is higher than a threshold TE, we could, uh, we had a very good fraction of uh, points for which the cost of maintenance was also above a certain threshold. So it was more than 60% of the points. Um, to conclude, so the LSTMED based models uh, have been earlier used for temporal anomaly detection. So we have extended this for uh, RUL estimation. So the uh, proposed LSTMED uh, based uh, unsupervised approach uh, to estimate health index from multi-sensor time series data. So it uses only the normal or the healthy behavior to learn the model and then estimate the remaining useful, useful life. Uh, so it does not rely on any domain knowledge and we have shown that uh, it does comparable, the results are comparable to an exponential assumption. Uh, the LSTMAD based model can attune to instance specific behavior and uh, as has been shown previously in the literature also, the LSTM in units can naturally leverage the temporal history to predict the health index. So the uh, proposed approach shows promising results overall, performing better than assumption based models in some cases. And finally, we have also shown that the reconstruction error has some correlation with maintenance cost for a real world industry data set. Thank you. These are the references.